Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe's Neon checking in. Um, I've got uh, a friend of mine here that is going to be welding the axe head, the jersey pattern that I showed you in the last video. Super excited about it and I want you to meet him. Um, here he is. This is, this is Bruce. And uh, tell us a little bit about your experience as far as welding goes. So I did two years of welding in high school. Um, I'm 22 years old. So I'm young, I'm uh, new into the game, but uh, I've done a lot of welding. I've been welding consistently for about five years now. I'm currently in Local 7. I'm a pipe welder, and I also do a whole bunch of other welding on the side. And uh, today I'm here to fix this axe. How about that? And here it is, folks. You, as, through my last video, you saw this big jersey. Okay? And we got to fix this. My buddy Chad set me up with this situation, and uh, it seems to me as though Bruce thinks he's got no problem fixing it. I think we got it. No problem. All right. Can you kind of describe to us what you're going to, uh, how you're going to go about it? Absolutely. So you can see the crack goes all the way through, all the way through. So in order to get a full penetration weld, we're going to have to take and grind out a bevel on each side of this. So that's going to be, it's looking to look like a V right there, and then now... We're going to have to do one pass in the bottom, and then another pass, and another pass, another pass, until it's all flushed out. And then you have a solid, full penetration weld, and she will not be cracking anytime soon. Folks, I think he's confident in that. That's it. We got it. Does it come with a guarantee? Oh, a guarantee, for sure. I can't thank you enough, Bruce, Absolutely. for doing this. Anything morning. for you, man. I appreciate it. All right, my friend. I can't, I can't wait to see the finished product. It's going to be good. It's going right, to be good. Friend. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, brother. All right, so folks, we're back here. We're in the front yard. We're back with Bruce, and we're going to weld that axe head. Yes, we are. Right? We've got the axe head right here. We've got it clamped and ready to go. Now, Bruce, has, uh, he's carved out a cavity here where he's going to replace all of that steel. Right, Bruce? Is that, yeah. that's, the, that's the idea, that's right? That's the goal. We're just going to start right here. You can obviously see the crack going all the way down. I chased it all the way down. We're going to do our fir first pass right here, fill that in, and just keep on filling all the way up until we're flush with that base metal. All right. Why don't you explain to us uh, some of the equipment you're using here? So today we're going to be TIG welding this. That stands for tungsten inert gas, and what that does is it uses torch right here it's got a piece of tungsten in there and uh, that melts the metal and then it has a shielding gas over there which is argon and yep, here's uh, your tank argon right here over here and that's that's it man it's just, yeah and, and we've got, got a square wave lincoln electric yep all right this is good stuff folks absolutely nothing but the best right nothing but Okay, folks, so here's where we're at. Bruce has done a fantastic job of filling in that valley. Look at how beautiful that weld is. And uh, what do you say, Bruce? How many more passes do you think we have to go? I'd say two to three more. Two to three more, and we should be good. Yeah, it's coming along very nicely. This, this axe head will be as solid as when it was manufactured, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go.
All right, folks, so here we are. Uh, the axe head's been welded. Bruce did a hell of a job. Have a look at that. That's all tigged. It's filled up right over the top and on the bottom. Really nice. Really well done, Bruce. Fantastic. So that's going to give me the opportunity to just take this down. You know, it'll it'll be a very slight amount of steel, but um, this and this is super solid. It's as good as the day it was made. Isn't that right? I'd say so. Yeah. So I can't thank you enough, Bruce. Absolutely. For, uh, I had a great time. You Anytime. know, coming over and 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 doing this project with us and uh, yeah. So, and we're going to keep moving on from here. We're going to go ahead and get these heads ready to hang and refurbish the handles. And we'll have a couple of beautiful, authentic, um, antique axes. There they are. We did it. All right, buddy. Thanks Thank again. Thank you. All right, my friend. Bruce did a great job welding this axe head up for us. So, where we're at now is I want to clean it up. I want to clean this weld up, clean the pole up, clean the top of the uh, head and the bottom edge of the head and clean that up. Then we'll work on a, we'll get to work on um, cleaning up the edge. That needs to be reprofiled, no big deal. But for now, let's get the pole cleaned up, see how she comes out. Folks, here's where we're at. I brought it right down to 320. I straightened up the profile right where I want it. Got all the nicks out. Ready for a perfect fit. All right, project is moving along. The next thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna get the handles prepared for the two axes. Now, this isn't just a one axe build. I've got that smaller boy's axe style. Um, it's even a little bit shorter than a boy's axe, but I'm also working on that. That head's all ready to go. I'm gonna have to do a little touching up on it, but this was the big project. And uh, just wanna thank my buddy Bruce again for helping me out with that welding. Never know that puppy was cracked. All right, folks, moving on. <laughs>